Hi guys, it is time of the month to do our bullet journal. For this month, I choose purple and yellow for this theme. And right now, I'm using my black Tombow brush pen. Using my 0.6 outline ink pen, I'm drawing the basic shapes of the moon, the stars and the dangling diamonds. Before we do, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. What drawing or theme would you like to see next? So let's jump right back into the video. And right now, I'm doing a dreamy purple clouds with dangling stars. Since yellow and purple are their own complementary colors. Okay, so I've already made my sketches by using my pencil beforehand. So that will save time for the recording part. And right now, the markers that I'm using for the moon and the stars are Kopi in the shade Y11, Y13, and Y15. Then, for the dangling diamonds, I'm using Tombow Brush Pen in the shade 636 for the shadow under it. Then, using a grey Tombow Brush Pen in the shade N45 to create a drop shadow under the moon and the stars. For the clouds, I use light and dark and purple brush pen to create the look. And the shade that I'm using is 603 and 636. And right now, I'm just adding some shadows under the moon, the stars, the strings, and under a bit under the diamonds. And then right now, I'm using the shade 636 to make the clouds appear more visible. And for this page, I'm doing my monthly planner for this month of May. On this top part will be my YouTube and Instagram growth tracker. And at the bottom of this spread, I'm just writing down my public holidays. And then I still continue drawing the strings for the dangling stars, I mean diamonds. So for this month, on every date that has a public holiday, I put the stars, the planet and the moon just to easily make it more visible that there is a public holiday in it. Just in case if you are wondering, for this month spread, my measurements are 9 points horizontal and 8 points vertical. Next, I continue using my black Tombow brush pen in the shade N15. I draw the black dots next, I mean on the left side, to write the dates. For the days of the week, I make a black bar and I write the days using a white gel pen on top. Turns out it was a mistake to use my old gel pen. I think it's starting to get dry because it's old and everything. So I kind of regret after this. And right now I'm using my light purple brush pen again for the YouTube and Instagram growth tracker. I'm still using this shade 603 and 636 for this. And I also use 636 as the shadow for the planet. Next, I use yellow Copic marker in the shade Y11 and Y13 for the moon and star. And right now, I'm using the light purple brush pen uh, just to create the purple clouds at the bottom and at the top of the page just to make it look like still in the theme. And right now is the part where I regret using the gel pen. And then I try covering it up using a silver marker. Turns out it was dry too. Then I tried using a gouache paint too. It was not pigmented enough. And then finally I used a black acrylic paint to cover everything up. As I wait for the paint to dry, 
I enhance the clouds at the bottom of the spread. Then, using white acrylic paint, I write in the days one by one. Okay, this part really takes a lot of time because I have to dip in every time for every stroke of the letter. And lastly, I found a liquid corrector. It turned out to be faster and better than the paint. Okay, so I did plan to write in the number of the dates on every black circle but turns out it was a pain in the ass. And then using a light purple, I write in the dates as big, almost as big as the boxes. It appears more beautiful rather than drawing a small, I mean writing a small dates. For the next page will be my mood tracker. For this, it will be 31 days for this month, so I draw 31 lines for each day. So, the more diamonds I draw, the happy I am. The less diamond I draw, it means I'm just having a bad day. It's easy. On the right side of this spread is my habit tracker. In my habit tracker, there will be a workout, water, eat healthy, my YouTube tracker, my Instagram post tracker, and the language that I'm learning at the moment is Spanish. And right now, I'm just continuing the theme of this spread using the purple clouds and the dangling diamonds. And for the 31 days of the month for each type of habit, I wrote it down using this outline pen in the size 0.6. For each habit, I am using this Tombow brush pen in the shade 603 which is the light purple. For this part, I am using a zigzag motion to create the background bar for each habit. I sure I'm loving this spread for my main monthly spread and my tracker spread. It is totally my best looking spread I've ever done so far. Right now will be my favorite spread. This is where I will write or doodle or illustrate things that I love for this month. Such as a new Instagram page that inspire me for this month. Or like some great new things that I discover for this month. Just stuff like that. I'm not so sure if you noticed that my sound is a bit raspy for this month because I'm having a bit of a cold. That's why my videos is a bit late than usual. I'm just hoping this will get better like as quickly as possible. On the right side of this page is actually one of my pet that just passed away. This is just to remind me that she's watching us from up there. Just to remind me of her. That's all. But you can actually put any character you want in it.
to color in the picture of my dog, I'm using the Copic markers in the shade E00, E11, E13 and E33. For the color, I'm using the Tombow brush pen in the shade 443 and 452, which is a blue color. Just to make it more 3D, I'm using a grey Tombow brush pen to create the drop shadow. So guys, this is the final look for my May bullet journal. I hope this gives you some sort of inspiration. I really hope that you like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon next to it so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.